Hi, it's Greg Hurrell here with another Vim screencast. And uh, tonight I want to talk about renaming files in Vim. And I just want to give a tiny little micro tip uh, about that. Um, so one way to do this is to use uh, T Pope's unique plugin or Unic. Um, and if you look at the help here, it describes what it can do. Basically, this is a, a kind of Vim aware wrapper around you know, the kind of commands that you would use on the command line to do things like remove or delete files. Um, and specifically, I want to look at uh, move and also rename tonight, um, which in a way they do what the name suggests, right? So let, let's get a file that we can move. Let's make a foo.txt. I'm going to write it so that it's actually on the file system. Uh, now, if I didn't have unique, I could still move this with Vim. Um, and the way I would do that is to use save as or, or just save, sav, um, and give it a new name. So let's say bar.txt. Now that created a new file for me, but that's only half of renaming a file because the other half is deleting the old name and that's still in the file system. So one way to do that is to just shell out and are in the file and now we've effectively renamed the file. Uh, another nice way to do this if the file name is long, uh, let's say we want to call this foo bar baz bomb bong bip boz boff i could keep going but i won't because that would be too boring so now i've got a big long file name and just say i wanted to append a suffix to the end of it uh one way i could do that it would be to use the percent shorthand and then hit tab and vim will auto complete the uh the current file name there um or if i was opening a file that was nested down under several layers of a directory it would or to complete the full path. And then I could add my new suffix. Or maybe I want this to be an XML file now. So I save it and, and there I am. Now, one thing that I found when I was using uh, Vim Unique is that uh, I got in the habit of using rename because it is convenient. Uh, so I happen to know that I've got uh, some fairly deeply nested directories here. So let's just save something, for example, in roles, dot files, files. Um, let's just call this one foo.txt and save it. Just say I wanted to uh, rename this one with uh, unique. Uh, I don't want to necessarily type the full path name. Um, so rather than using move and specifying, you know, spelling out the full path, uh, I got in the habit of just using rename. And then I could do something like rename bar.txt and it's going to keep it in the same directory, but it is going to rename just the file and it will delete the old one. Um, and so I got into the habit of using rename so much, uh, but I f that I found it was, I basically forgot that move existed. And when, and when I would try to use percent, tab completion didn't work. Um, and the reason why it doesn't work is because percent expands to the full path of the file, but rename is not about paths, it's about file names. Um, so it doesn't work. So I had to untrain myself of that habit. Um, and if I instead use move, percent will work. Um, so that's the tip. If you want to use percent to rename a file using Vim Unique, use move, not rename. Um, other than that, uh, Unique has a bunch of other useful stuff that I'm not going to go into, but I would encourage you to uh, look at this plugin and uh, install it. It's kind of classic T Pope stuff, very lightweight. I mean, if we look at the uh, implementation, it's a single file, which is 265 lines of immaculate Vim script. So can't go wrong with T Pope. Give it a shot. Um, in the meantime, hope you enjoyed the screencast and subscribe if you like this stuff, because I will keep publishing.